I just told my bitch, I said, listen, if Trey Song walks in the room, you better turn your head, heifer, or my fist will turn your motherfucking head for you. Hear me, bitch? I will punch you in your motherfucking jaw for looking at Trey Songs. He's not going to steal my girl, Jesus. But anyways, trigger. Yeah. Trey Songs, Mr. S- Mr. S- can't even talk. Mr. Steal Your Girl. Not my girl, though. I will kick Trey Song straight in his fucking nuts. This motherfucker ever come around my girl, he'll be like, hey, player, what you kick me in the nuts for? I'll be like, dude, my girl was in the room. He'll be like, but what the fuck? You just go around kicking people in the nuts? I'll be like, Trey Songs, I know what you do, brother. I know what the fuck you do. This dude will steal your girl. Won't give the heifer back. But anyway, no, I'm just totally kidding. Trey Songs, please don't beat my ass. Don't don't get it twisted. Trey Songs will fuck you up. Well, he'll beat shit out of me at least. He he will take me up out of this wheelchair and just throw me on the ground. Just 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 beat me uh, so I look like fucking tuna fish. But anyways, shout out to Global Grind. Let's see what's the writer's name. Her name is Kiana Anthony. So shout out to Kiana or Kiona. I don't know how to pronounce these hood names. You know, I I know somebody who draws a Kiona. I mean, drives with my stupid ass title of the story was attention ladies trey songs lands hilarious new dating show tremaine the playboy for the record it's available online right now vh1 already posted the first episode i posted the trailer on my blog you know but anyways i just want to give my opinion on it i thought the trailer was dope it's very very short just like me i am three feet tall the trailer is only two minutes and 41 seconds that's a lot longer than I will last in bed with most of you women who are listening to this. But in, anyways, enough of my mental problems and stuff like that. I'll take that up with my therapist or therapists, plural, as opposed to singular, because I have three therapists, but that's none of y'all business. Anyways, here's what Global Grind had to say about the show. Trey Songz is trying his hand at the reality dating show life, sort of. On Tuesday, VH1 released the first look at the crooners up... <laughs> almost read that wrong. I almost said crooners without the R and I was about to get my ass whooped by Trey Songs for real. I almost said Cooners and <laughs> Trey Songs would have jumped to the screen and slapped shit out of me. Anyways, on Tuesday, VH1 released a first look at the crooners upcoming dating series Tremaine the Playboy, which features Trey Song as Tremaine. Is that Trey Song's real name Tremaine? I never knew that. Anyways, the latest eligible bachelor on a conquest to find his perfect match. Hosted by Dre and Michelle and Stilo Brim. 17 Lucky Lakes. How come they didn't have me on the show instead of Stilo Brim? Who the fuck is Stilo Brim? Meat Magazine should have been up there with Drea. Anyway, 17 Lucky Ladies will compete against one another to win the heart of Mr. Steal Your Girl on his new reality show. Steal Y'all Girl, not mine. I told you I will. Boy, the, the make. I. I have a, listen, I know you're listening to this, my girl. You know who you are. You better cover your motherfucking eyes while you're listening to this. You better stop looking at that picture of Trey Songs. We're going to have problems. The series will air as part of VH1's 14 Days of Love, a celebration leading up to Valentine's Day. Trey will sit down with love and sex connoisseur Amber Rose. Dude, don't they just mean whore? Love and sex connoisseur Amber Rose? That fucking slut is a love and sex connoisseur. That just means she's a slut. Love and sex connoisseur, y'all. Global grind, y'all off, y'all motherfucking rocker. Trey will sit down with love and sex connoisseur Amber Rose to introduce the world to his eligible bachelor alter ego, Tremaine. Alter ego, Tremaine. Excuse my retarded ass. I'm not going to edit that out either. Of course, Amber will get all the tea the ladies want to know, including everything from finding out what Tremaine looks for in a woman to an intense game of never have I. VH1 said of the new series, quote, Trey is Tremaine, the latest eligible bachelor on a conquest to find his perfect match. It's all fun and dancing at the opening rose ceremony, but as soon as love hits the fan, other emotions run wild, Finding love is a tricky beast to tackle, especially in a house full of singles trying to win over the R&B heartthrob. So thank you very much, Global Grind. Thank you very much, VH1. I mean, it's it's an awesome, well, at least the trailer was awesome. 
of course there's a website Tremaine the playboy.com you know which it's I guess it's where you'll be able to watch the show I thought it was available on VH1 now I thought it was gonna air on VH1.com but from what I see Tremaine the playboy dot com is where it's going to air on February 16th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so today February 16th Thursday yeah today as I'm recording this so wow I thought I was late I was like damn they already aired the show or posted on the internet or whatever and I'm late like some of you heifers in the comment sections periods you know about to take that trip to Planned Parenthood your second home but anyways man you know what do I think about it? I mean, it looked great. They have some fine-ass women on that show. Jesus. Some of them women trying to win Trey Song's heart are fine as hell. They got this one white girl with a giant ass. They got some red bones. They got some blackies up in there. I mean, they have all types of fine women in there. But let's be real here. The baddest one of them all, and I know that everybody with some sense is going to agree. The baddest one is Dre and Michelle. Now, I know what some of y'all may be saying. She's just the host. She's not one of the hoes trying to get with Trey Songz, trying to get that this naive, trying to get that mean three and a half. But I'm telling y'all, man, Dre is so bad that even though I saw that the other women were fine as hell, some of them were some dimes, Dre is the baddest chicken show, hands down, period. But I'm a huge Dre and Michelle fan and stan, you know. One of my favorite reality TV show stars. She said she deleted her wholeness. Listen, any woman that can come up with some ingenious shit like that, she said her wholeness was, because she used to be allegedly a hoe back in the day. She said her wholeness was deleted. Any woman who come up with some crazy shit like that gets their credit for me. That 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 was some real creative uh, whole nile or whole denial. Shout out to my boo Dre and Michelle for doing big things about as big as her booty. I'm not surprised that they put her on the show. I mean, she was on Basketball Wives where she was the show. She was the best part of the show. Really the only reason to tune in for the most part. People got mad when I said that the show couldn't make it without Drea. Rumors of the show being canceled started as soon as she said she was leaving. What does that tell you? But anyways, let me know what y'all think about it all below. Did you watch the show? The Tremaine the Playboy show? And what did you think about it? Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit MeatMagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter, Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 of Google Plus, and Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. Once again, the trailer is on my website. When the show airs, I'm going to give my opinion. I'm going to watch it. And, you know, I know who won't be watching it, bitch. I know who the fuck won't be watching that goddamn show.